can uh, combine Adobe Photoshop with Adobe XD. There are some things we can do we can't do in Adobe XD, like cropping an image or something. So here in mobile, I can go to open a new document on our iPhone X and drag and drop an image that I already have with the move tool. Drag and drop. Use the quick selection tool. Cropping the image, you select and mask to see if I missed something. So here. With the feather, smooth the edges. And then use a new layer. Okay, so now I have the image. Some missing parts here. Delete. Maybe use the effects to have some drop shadow. Less, uh, less size. Click OK. And I will open a new uh, solid color. Drag and drop it under. Okay, and add some text. We will see it's really taking all the layers from Photoshop. So it's an app. Welcome to And using the paragraph tool. And obviously, to make sure it's not too close. And even add a button. So now I can't use the prototype. Let's go to the layers. And a white arrow. And under the properties, I have an option to choose All right next. That's too small, maybe 50. I can always change later on in Adobe XD. Okay, now if I save that document, just save it. Save it in the desktop. Click OK, and I go back to XD. And for my computer, just import the PSD file, the Photoshop file. Open it. And then we can see it's exactly, it's importing everything. The image can even change the color from here using different colors.
and keep going with my design. If it's opening a new document, sorry, a new artboard or copy it. and using the prototype. So that was Photoshop with Adobe XD, cropping an image, using everything in Photoshop and then import it to Adobe XD.